Everyone in the world loves a good burger and I am no different and sometimes I seek inspiration in TikTok. Now I'll be honest with you, sometimes they have some incredible burgers, other times not so much. Today we're going to view them and react them and see which ones are the best. And let me know in the comments down below by the end of this video which one you would like me to recreate. Because I love a good burger, so let's begin, here we go. Very first one, let's see. Wait, is he using a whole brie as a cheese? Seriously? Oh, that's a lot of cheese. If you're lactose intolerant, stay away from this one. So it looks like he put a little bit of grape jelly, which is a perfect combination with the cheese. Torching the cheese is actually not bad. And for the bread, he goes ahead and deep fry a whole brie cheese. Come on now. <laughs> Now, I don't know if that's a genius or just an abomination. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you eat it? All right, on to the next one. That looks good. Oh, oh, what? Oh my God, what is that? Ooh. It's like one of those things that when you looked at it, you want to look away, you know what I mean? It's like you don't really want to see it, but you saw it, you can unsee it. That's what that one feels like. You can't unsee that. Oh, I don't want to see it. That was terrible. Zero out of 10 will not recommend. Fancy restaurants be like... <laughs> That's exactly right. I mean, I went to a fancy restaurant, everybody, and they served me some wild, wild things, and everything is so tiny, you know what I mean? Look, here's the deal. A lot of chefs put a lot of effort and time on their dish, but at the same time, when they serve you a pork belly this big or a burger this big, and they charge you $100 million for it, come on now, come on now, come on now. But this little thing right here, it won't even do a dent in my belly. That was funny though. On to the next. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, he's pissed. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it, boy. He is pissed off. Take a look at this dog. Oh, man, we gotta watch this one again. I mean, you take a look at it. It looks nice, beautiful. And then as soon as you open up, and his face expression like, oh, I'm gonna give you some revenge. You're gonna see what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm a dog person. I love animals. That was awesome. Wait a second, he's dunking it in cheese? Did he just add flaming hot Cheetos onto the burger? Oh, I like that. That cheese sauce looks like Cheese Whiz. I mean, take a look at that. That looks delicious. I mean, that's a genius idea. It should give you a nice crunchiness, but at the same time, some spiciness. Man, I would definitely eat that one. Would you eat it? I would say yes. Oh, I would say hell yes. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a cute baby. She really wants that burger. Oh, that's just mean. That's messed up. I mean, look, take a look at her. She's going in so nicely and then, oh, <laughs> that is meanness and absolute torture at its finest. But take a look at this baby. That's just messed up, man. You don't do stuff like that. That burger looks good though. Next up, my brother Max. He infused some jalapenos in his burger, which I think is genius. Oh, that looks good, brother. The onion rings, that's pretty cool. Adding the cheese in between and then wrapping it with bacon. Mmm, that's nice, Max. Good job. Wow, Max. Topped it off with the bacon onions. And then in the end, he adds pork belly, glazed pork belly. Damn, Max, you are making us suffer because that looks delicious. By the way, I miss you, Max. Come back so we can make some more videos together. We did some epic stuff. All right, on to the next one. Ground beef. Grinding your own beef is definitely the way to go. I highly recommend doing that for sure. This looks so good. What is this? A burger tower? What? I'll show you what we got here. Got the patty, salt, hella pepper. Salt and pepper? Then you added a good amount of bacon there, okay. American cheese, best cheese by the way. That is a fact, American cheese everybody. The best cheese there is for burgers. There's something to be said about when that cheese melts into the meat. It's just delicious and if you want something even better, grab that burger patty together with the cheese, dunk it in beef tallow, bring it out, put it on top of your burger. It's going to be an experience you will never forget. Yes, it's greasy, yes, it's fatty, but listen, whenever you're eating a burger, it's not you 
you're trying to be healthy, you're trying to eat something delicious. And there's something to be said about dunking it in beef tallow, bringing it out and putting it on the burger. Man, I'm telling you, it is amazing. Another one, why not? And then repeat. All right, now we're just loading this guy up into the smoker. Barely fits. <laughs> that does not fit, my brother. That was some editing going on right there because that thing would not close. <laughs> the pull. Ooh, money right there. Oh man, look at that. You see, this is missing something that I really enjoy on a burger, which is a crust. At least for me, there's something to be said about that caramelization that is created. This burger does not have any. Now there's several different burgers that don't have any and it's very popular like steam burgers. If you wanna see a video or an episode on a steam burger, let me know. But this one here, I really, really, really miss a crust. All right, next one. I am just salivating right now. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. And the pork belly is perfectly crunchy. Look at that. And he achieved what I like to call the ultimate crunch. Just listen. Yes, got him out the cheese and he did a good job because he got nice golden brown and not black. Never get your cheese black. Golden brown if you can, everybody. It's just better. 10 out of 10 on this one. So one of New York City's best burgers doesn't come on a bun, but in pita. Doesn't come on a bun, he comes on a pita. There's nothing wrong with that. Pita is still a bread. Let me tell you why. These known's folded pita burger starts with a super thin patty getting just an incredible crust on a flat top. Inside of that goes a handful of white cheddar before being folded over. So a handful? He's not joking. Oof. <laughs> so every bite just like explodes with cheese. Now that it's all crusty, cooked, and melty, uh, that then goes into a super soft pita with the garlic aioli, sour cream, tomato, and pickles. I mean, that looks delicious, everybody. I'm not gonna lie. That looks like an absolute beauty to go inside of your mouth and enjoy. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I love reacting to TikToks because I watched and I also learned a lot of times. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.